build, which is lightweight and low cost to distribute to a remote region, and you now have an extra week to transport that produce without refrigeration, that has the opportunity to be really transformative. More breaking news now. This from Pittsburgh. Uh, the Pittsburgh Public Safety Department has just sent out this tweet. I'm going to read it to you here. Alert. There is an active shooter in the area of Wilkins and Shady. Avoid the area. More info will be released when it is available. We understand police have confirmed there is a shooting near the Tree of Life Synagogue or that there has been. Here are some pictures that we have, live pictures coming from that area. Nick Valencia is following the developments for us. Uh, Nick, what else have you learned? Hey there, Victor and Christy. All of this is still a very fluid situation, but we can confirm now from the Pittsburgh Public Safety uh, Twitter handle uh, that this is an active shooter situation. The uh, website for the Tree of Life, which is located in East Pittsburgh. It says that their services, uh, Saturday service is Shabbat. It's the busiest service day of the week. Uh, it uh, started at about 9.45 a.m. according to the Tree of Life Synagogue website. The first reports of this active shooter uh, were just after 10.20 this morning from affiliate KDKA, whose uh, images you're looking at there now. There are also reports that there are ambulances on the scene, which we could see there uh, with our own eyes, as well as uh, multiple police officers that have made their way to the scene. All of this still a very fluid situation. We're working on gathering details. Uh, so far, we can confirm, though, that there is an active shooter situation in East Pittsburgh at the Tree of Life Synagogue on their busiest service day of the week. Uh, their service, again, started at 945. These reports come in at uh, just after 1020 this morning. Uh, we're still working on gathering information, guys. We'll get more to you when we can. Hey, Nick, I want to be pretty precise about this. Um, we have on the screen near the synagogue, and I just heard at the synagogue. Do we know if this shooting was inside, outside, or just in the vicinity of? Well, right now we should just go by what the Pittsburgh Public Safety is saying. Uh, Wilkins and Shady, they're saying people should avoid uh, that area. I'm not quite familiar with the Pittsburgh area. I don't know if uh, any of you guys are, but this alert here coming from the Pittsburgh Public Safety uh, saying that this synagogue, um, you know, near the synagogue perhaps, uh, you know, around the area, and these images, the first uh, images that we're getting now from our uh, local affiliates. Guys. So I guess one of the other biggest questions is, if this was inside, is the shooter still there? Because when we say active shooter, we're saying they don't have that shooter in custody, or they don't have their eyes on who that shooter is, and mm -hmm. they may not have that shooter cornered. What When you watch this... Well, what, what do you, Christy? You may have somebody in custody, or you may have somebody down. They don't know if there are other accomplices. I think as we make this pivot from talking about bombings to right. talking about active shooters, most important thing we've got to tell the public is this: there are four things that you do in an active shooter situation. The first is run, get out of there. If you cannot do that, hide. And there's a difference between concealment and cover. And then third, fight if you have to. And lastly, and, and critically important. Tell. Go to the law enforcement and give them as many details as possible. Run, hide, fight, tell in that order. Obviously, a pretty a large uh, police presence here, um, and we saw uh, some uh, men with tactical gear. Uh, we don't know in which direction they were going, right? Mm -hmm. So we don't want to assume, we don't want to speculate, but we can show you exactly what is happening here and report what is coming from the Pittsburgh uh, Public Safety uh, Department uh, as well. Oh, wait a minute, and I just want to point out... That's a, a message for us. A new tweet. Okay. Okay, we see it. So, again, the tweet from the public safety is that there is an active shooter in the area, in the area of Wilkins and Shady Avenue, uh, and they're asking all the public to just avoid that area right now. And as Victor said, obviously there are ambulances there, which would... Yeah. signify that there are people who may be hurt. We do not know that to be. We have not heard of injuries. We have not heard of how many people may be injured, how many people may be shooting, how many people they're looking for. But when they say active shooter situation, uh, that tells us that they do not have their eye on that shooter or they are not talking to them. So there's this breaking news. There's also the breaking news from the Buffalo Police Department. They're investigating a suspicious package that was uh, found uh, near the post office there. Uh, James Gagliano, Samantha Vinograd, thank you both. So uh, we'll much. take a quick break and continue the coverage of both breaking news stories right here on CNN. Frederica Woodfield is up after that break.